Good morning, my wrestling heroes. We're going to be taking a look at the last two figures from the Wave Elite Series 60. John Cena and Giant. Giant Machine. Also known as Andre the Giant. Getting some interchangeable parts. I am digging this. I like that, Mattel. Thank you. We got it with Matt Hardy with the interchangeable arms. Now we're getting it with Giant Machine. And we also got it with Mean Gene Oakland. You remember we did? We were able to swap out the vest, arms, all that goodies. This is good stuff for the future, man. I can see the wheel turning but what wheel are we talking about are we talking about the john cena wheel that he plans on going back and challenging undertaker again for what bro <laughs> like what kind of rematch is there to be i mean you call out the guy for what two three months he kept calling him a coward he ended up eventually coming out and just lit burying you <laughs> he got a taste of his own medicine so basically what's going on word of talk the rumor is is that john cena he's gonna be taking on taker again at SummerSlam. will it be the same outcome i don't know we're gonna find out soon enough and one thing that i do want to do at the end of the video if you guys aren't familiar with my figure reviews we'd like to get this all put together right i believe john cena goes in between kofi you know let's get out that other little stand piece for this one we are gonna have to fully assemble it there's a stand right there it is hiding it is there it is we got it we got it we're good we're gonna click these on because we got to see what that whole piece looks together and i think they what they did with john cena i think they made him the centerpiece could be wrong but if you look at the back of the image of the actual card and how the figures are displayed from the series they they kind of align it for you you see how they put john cena right there in the middle and once you do that it all makes sense once the art piece is finally all put together but before we do before we go ahead and do that we got to take a look at john cena right now we have gotten the red or the orange and blue but now we're getting it with a different shirt and shorts i guess you could say right because the previous ones were khakis we could yeah we can yeah we can do a comparison yeah why not i mean we're here it's now and it's only right so here's the orange shirt right here we picked this up from ringside using discount code hero on the shirt right there it's the same logo that we saw with elite series 54 yes elite series 54 um Again, it is the orange as opposed to the blue. The same hat, the same arm. See, see if, okay, if you were to say, Hero Figs, what attire would you have liked to see them put out for John Cena? Well, A, I would have actually liked to see something, you know, from his earlier days. There are still a lot of attires that they haven't made. I think there's just so many... Uh, I mean, they've made just about every single one, but there are some key ones that definitely stand to me for sure. The other one that I think would have been great to see in this specific way... Would have been that green. And you know, <laughs> it's going to happen eventually when he does, when they eventually do give us this attire with the green. It's going to be when the man has changed his outfit, right? Because that's what happens, man. I feel like that's what they do with these Cena figures. Like, we finally get the attire that we've been waiting for. And when we finally do in figure form, it's like, bro, I got to change up my color, man. I'm going to give you a reason to get my next fig. Hey, hey, that's beautiful strategizing by the man. I mean, he he's not 16-time champion for no reason, right? There's a lot of stuff going up in that head for sure. He's done it right for so many years. I do believe it's the same scan that they gave us with the previous Elite from Elite Series 54. Let's bring it up. Yep, exact same head scan, uh, head scan, same facial expression. Again, the difference is the shirt, the shorts. This one, we're getting more of a navy blue. And then for the uh, shoes, I'm glad that they did this. I feel like for just about every Cena for the last four, maybe five Elite Series, these are the ones that we've gotten with just like the highlighter green. So seeing this contrast of the blue, white, and black all brought together in, into these, dude, love it. I actually, I, I do like the Cena, for sure. Um, I'm going to have to give him a 7. The only reason why he's getting such a low number is we didn't get that green, man. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, still a great figure. Let's see if he's going to go into that peg. And that's cool about this. This is the, this is the one thing that I like about these, man. They make the, fi the figures feel. Let's do the I can't see. This. There you go. He's throwing it up saying you can't see. But we can see you, Cena. We can clearly see you. You're going to get beat by the Undertaker again. It's going to happen. Here's Giant Machine right here. I do have some of his previous Elites. We got, what is it, Elite Series 29. We can do some comparisons. Why not? We're here, right? This one is from the 4-pack, the Target 4-pack. This one, I believe, was the Toys R Us exclusive. And this is the same thing as Elite Series 29, except without that... Um, uh, the black attire because this is removable so you can take that off this is cool and this might be and again we'll find out once we get it out this might be like the giant or the giant the best 
Andre the Giant so far. Maybe because, you know, like, again, you got those interchangeable parts, man. When you throw interchangeable parts in, in any figures, Mattel, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna rank that figure pretty high. I like the mask. I got so many good ideas for this mask, too. Can't wait to get, uh, get this out and get playing with it, man. There was another, someone drop it in the comment section. Again, it's, this was a long time ago when he wore this attire, but there was another superstar. There was two, actually, there was three. There was a total of three, uh, giant machines. They were like, big dudes i know one of them of course andre the giant since we're seeing it here in figure form but the other one man you guys gotta help me out drop it in the comment section i know there's some giant andre the giant uh marks out there i almost said giant gonzalez not giant gonzalez but andre so accessories i gotta show you the head scans first um uh, really the only accessory is the removable in ring gear that we're seeing on this one um where's that little black piece there it is there she goes got to put it on and i believe for him he goes all the way down at the end there's the rob piece right there he looks like instead of the andre yeah actual head scan it's the actual mask itself so we'll put that we'll, we'll button it up right there not button it up but it clicks on there there you go we'll put it together um Yes, yeah, so you can remove this. So you can have one of two attires. So you can have it with the black singlet, right? With the actual mask. This is kind of how he wore it right there. This one was, oh, this is cool. I know when they showed images of this, one of my biggest concerns was that this wasn't long enough. But check this out. It actually goes down all the way down to the actual boots themselves. This is fire, man. Now, my question is, is how difficult is it to remove this mask? Hold on. Before we do the interchanging of the parts, I want to take a closer look at this mask right here, dude. This is sick, man. I love my mask luchadors. And seeing this on a giant, oh, my gosh. This thing is wicked, bro. It's got a lightning bulb right there centered on top of the middle of the forehead. We're getting some more, like, lightning flares on the outside of it. On the eyes and mouthpiece, it has, like, this little gold. It's like a gold pattern um, design scattered throughout on the back it shows like the actual like what brings the mass together that's cool man like that that is so cool let's take this off i think this might be yeah so what you do is that you want velcro it from the back and it's the yellow man it's the yellow attire once you take that off you can actually see how it's gonna go down when the man no longer wants to wear the mask fire bro let's, let's, let's pop it out See, it should just come right off. It shouldn't have to do any kind of force. Yeah, it just literally pops right off. Really no struggle. Here's the head scan. This head scan, I don't think, no, 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 no. Yeah, it is a new head scan. I'm pretty sure it's a new head scan. This one is, okay, so this one, this is the one that's actually showing the most amount of teeth. This one is showing a little bit of teeth and the rest are just closed right there. So cool, man. Really great. How do they do this, man? Like, all right, this man hasn't been around for quite a bit now. So the fact that they can capture this figure, like, the, like in the, at least in the likeness, uh, <laughs> how they can capture this figure. But they can't do it with current superstars. Like, for example, that, that new Ms. Hudscan. That's, a, that's another song and dance. But it's just crazy how they can do it with, like, you know, wrestlers that haven't been around. Because what they do is that they scan them, right? They scan them. And then the, that's how they get, like, the actual expression of the figure. Same torso, it only makes sense. I mean, this guy has always been a freaking monster, dude. Getting some really nice yellow tights. That's cool. This is a really bright yellow. This might even be brighter than the actual whole Kogan attire. So overall, you guys, great lineup. I mean, this is it. This is the entire Elite Series 60. Now we got to rank them from best. You know what? Actually, what I want to do, we'll put these guys aside real quick. I just wanted to give you a quick comparison on what the rest look like. But this, yes, this is hands down my favorite Andre the Giant figure that they've made so far. Now we got to rank them, you guys. And one thing I got to do, man, this is what oh, I love this. When you put this art piece together, I'm telling you, it just brings them. Rank number one, for sure, it's going to be Elias. For me, it's going to be number one. It's just a lot of great stuff. First time in the line. The right scan. The right attire. The correct accessory. Dude, they couldn't have done anything better with this Elias. So this is cool, man. You see how it kind of just brings it together. Number two, it's going to be Triple H. I think Triple H been wanting this head scan for a while. Actually, BEW. I know he's made several of these. And <laughs> I was waiting so... I feel like I've been waiting for well over a year now to get this head scan. So nice to finally have this. Number three, I got to give it to giant machine i mean all the cool stuff you know the interchangeable heads 
like the added accessory where you can do two different attires. I think this is cool, man. Really. Number four, got to go with uh, Kofi Kingston. The new head scan on this, I think it's just, it's amazing. It really is. I think the, the face print that they used on this. And the one thing I forgot to point out, why isn't he standing? There you go. We'll put you in the back, man. It looks like Andre the, or yeah, Andre the Giant doesn't want to stand. And the one thing I forgot to point out uh, when I did the review on this is these kicks, man. Look at these. <laughs> so, yes, number four for sure. Number five, I got to give it to uh, – it's, it's a tough call. It is a tough call. Number five, going to go with uh, – Xavier Woods. I mean, it's the red, white, and blue. It's the matching attire. Once we finally get Elite Series 61, Big E, this is only going to be just that much better. And last but not least, John Cena. Cena, we got to get your green, man. I think had you been, had you gotten the green or an earlier attire, you would have ranked higher. So this is the overall wave, you guys. Would highly recommend it. Again, these are all available at ringside. Check out this art piece, you guys. This is wicked, man. Again, these are all available at ringside. Discount code here will save you 10% at checkout. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.